in this video we're going to go over the top 10 questions asked for an IT specialist payment gateway integration uh, role the first question that I would want to go over is describe your experience integrating payment gateways like stripe or PayPal into a mobile app or a web page for this I will probably answer something like this integrating payment gateways like stripe or PayPal into a mobile app or web page involves several steps beginning with the selection of the appropriate payment gateway based on the project's requirements I have worked on multiple projects where integrating these gateways was crucial for enabling secure and seamless transactions the process typically starts with understanding the project's needs such as the types of payments to support one-time transactions subscriptions or even donations and ensuring that the selected gateway aligns with these requirements once the gateway is chosen i process i proceed to set up the necessary developer accounts configure api keys and familiarize myself with the gateways api gateways api documentation the integration itself involves both front end and back end development on the front end i implement secure payment forms using the gateways provided sdks or libraries ensuring that the user interface is both intuitive and aligned with the overall design of the application. This includes integrating features like real-time validation to improve the user experience by catching errors before the transaction is submitted. On the backend, I write the necessary code to handle API requests and responses, securely managing the transaction data and ensuring that payment information is never exposed or improperly stored. The, this process often includes setting up webhooks to handle events like payment confirmation, failures, or subscription renewals, ensuring that the system is always up to date with the latest transaction status. Security is paramount concern throughout the integration process. I implement tokenization where sensitive payment information is replaced with a token that is meaningless if intercepted thereby reducing the risk of data breaches. I also ensure that all data transmissions are encrypted using SSL, TLS and that the system comp complies with PCI DSS requirements avoiding the storage of sensitive information like full credit card numbers or CVV codes. Testing is critical phase in, the, in this process where I use the gateway sandbox environment to simulate different transaction scenarios including successful payments, declined transactions, and error conditions. This testing ensures that the integration works smoothly across all possible cases and that any issues are identified and resolved before going live. Finally, after thorough testing and validation, the payment gateway integration is deployed to the production environment. Post-deployment, post I continue to monitor the system's performance, looking out for any anomalies or user reported issues. By continuously optimizing the payment flow based on user feedback and transaction data, I ensure that the integration remains secure, efficient, and user-friendly, providing a seamless payment experience that enhances the overall success of the application. The next question is, how do you handle the storage and security of payment credentials? Example tokenizations for this i'll go something like this handling the storage and security of payment credentials such as credit card numbers or bank account details is a critical aspect of integrating payment gateways my approach focuses on ensuring that sensitive information is never directly stored or exposed thereby minimizing the risk of data breaches and ensuring compliance with the industry standards like pci dss the cornerstone of this approach is tokenization, a process where sensitive payment data is replaced with a unique token that is meaningless if intercepted. This token is what gets stored in our systems and used for subsequent transactions, allowing us to process payments without ever handling the actual credit card information directly. When implementing tokenization, I rely on the Payment Gateways API to securely handle the conversation conversion of sensitive data into tokens. During a transaction, the user's payment details are sent directly to the payment gateway, which then returns a token that represents this data. 
This token is stored in our database and used for any further transaction such as recurring payments or refunds. By using tokens instead of actual payment details, I significantly reduce the scope of security risk and ensure that even if our database is compromised, no usable payment information is exposed. In addition to tokenization, I ensure that all data transmitted between the client, server, and payment gateway is encrypted using SSL TLS. This ensures that the payment information is secure during transmission and cannot be intercepted by malicious actors. On the server side, I implement strict access controls to ensure that only authorized systems and personnel can access payment related information. Sensitive data is further protected by encrypting any tokens or identifiers stored in our database, adding an additional layer of security. Compliance with PCI DSS is also a key aspect of my approach. I ensure that the entire payment process adheres to these stringent security standards, including the secure handling, processing, and transmission of payment data. This involves regular security audits, vulnerability assessments, and adherence to best practices in data security. For recurring payments, I ensure that the system can handle subscription billing securely using the stored tokens to process payments without needing to re-enter payment details. Overall, my approach to handling the storage and security of payment credentials involves a combination of tokenization, encryption, strict access controls, and compliance with industry standards. This ensures that sensitive payment information is protected at every stage of the transaction process, reducing the risk of data breaches and providing a secure environment for users to make payments. Next question, can you explain how you would integrate multiple payment gateways into a single application? Integrating multiple payment gateways into a single application requires careful planning and a robust architecture to ensure that the payment process remains seamless and efficient to users. My approach begins with creating an abstraction layer that acts as an intermediary between the application's business logic and the various payment gateways. This layer standardizes the interaction with different gateways by defining common interfaces such as process payment and refund payment, which each gateway implementation must follow. By doing so, the application can interact with any payment gateway using the same methods, simplifying the integration and maintenance process. When setting up the system, I configure each payment gateway with its respective API keys and credentials, securely managing these settings to prevent unauthorized access. The abstraction layer then uses gateway-specific adapter classes to handle the unique requirements and API calls of each payment gateway. This allows the system to dynamically select the appropriate gateway based on factors such as user preference, transaction type, or geographic location. For example, a user in Europe might be routed to PayPal while a user in the United States might be processed through Stripe. This flexibility ensures that the application can offer multiple payment options tailored to different user needs. In addition to handling basic transactions, the system also manages more complex scenarios such as failed payments and fallback mechanisms. If a payment attempt fails with one gateway, the system can automatically retry the transaction using an alternative gateway, ensuring continuity and reducing the likelihood of lost sales. Furthermore, I implement security measures such as tokenization and encryption to protect sensitive payment data across all gateways adhering to PCI DSS compliance standards. This approach not only secures the payment information but also simplifies the integration by ensuring that the sensitive data is consistently managed across all gateways, as I mentioned in the previous question. Testing is a critical part of the integration process. I conduct extensive testing in the sandbox environment provided by each payment gateway to simulate various transaction scenarios, including successful payments, declines, and refunds. This helps to identify and resolve any potential issues before the system goes live. Additionally, I perform load testing to ensure that the system can handle multiple concurrent transactions without performance degradation, which is especially important when dealing with high traffic periods. 
After the integration is complete, I monitor the system in real time to track transaction success rates, error rates, and overall performance across all payment gateways. This ongoing monitoring allows me to make data-driven decisions to optimize the payment process further, ensuring that the users have a seamless and reliable experience regardless of the payment gateway they choose. By employing this structured and comprehensive approach, I ensure that the application can effectively manage multiple payment gateways, providing users with flexibility, security, and a smooth payment experience. What are the main challenges you have faced when integrating payment gateways? When integrating payment gateways, several challenges can arise, each requiring careful attention and strategic solutions to ensure a smooth and reliable payment process. One of the primary challenges is dealing with the differences in APIs and protocol across various payment gateways. Each gateway has its own set of requirements, documenta documentation and nuances which can make it difficult to maintain a consistent integration, especially when multiple gateways are involved. To address this, I typically create an abstraction layer that standardizes interactions between direct gateways, allowing the application to interface with each gateway in a uni uniform way. This reduces um, complexity and ensures that the core business logic does not need to be altered to accommodate the specificities of each gateway. Another significant challenge is ensuring security and compliance, particularly with sensitive payment data. Handling and storing such data requires strict adherence to security standards like PCI DSS. Implementing tokenization where sensitive data is replaced with tokens is a crucial part of my approach. This minimizes the risk of data breaches by ensuring that sensitive information is never directly exposed or stored in the application database. Additionally, I make sure that all the data transmissions are encrypted using SSL TLS to protect against man-in-the-middle attacks and other forms of data interception. User experience also presents a challenge. As the payment process, uh, as, a, as a, the payment process must be both secure and seamless. Users are likely to abandon their transactions if they encounter too many hurdles or errors during payment. To mitigate this, I focus on creating an intuitive and straightforward payment interface that guides users through the process with minimal friction. This includes implementing real-time validation to catch errors early and providing clear, actionable error messages if something goes wrong. Moreover, I ensure that the payment process is responsive and optimized for different devices, whether the user is on a mobile phone, tablet, or desktop. Handling gateway downtime or API failures is another challenge that requires careful planning. Payment gateways are not immune to outages or technical issues, which can disrupt the payment process and lead to lost sales. To address this, I implement a failover mechanism that automatically switches to an alternative gateway if the primary gateway is unavailable. This ensures that transactions can still be processed maintaining the continuity of service even during unexpected disruptions. Managing webhooks and asynchronous notifications from the payment gateway is also a complex aspect of integration. These notifications are crucial for keeping the application updated with real-time information about transaction statuses, refunds, and chargebacks. However, handling webhooks from multiple gateways each with its own event type and formats can be challenging. I solve this by setting up a unified webhook handler that can parse and process incoming notifications from all gateways, updating their applications record accordingly. Lastly, ensuring that the payment gateway integration works seamlessly across different regions and currencies can be challenging, especially when dealing with a global user base. Different gateways may have varying levels of support for certain currencies or regions, which can lead to issues with transactions. To overcome this, I implement dynamic routing logic that selects the most appropriate gateway based on user's location and preferred currency. This approach ensures that users around the world can complete their transactions smoothly regardless of where they are or what currency they're using. 
These challenges require a strategic approach that balances technical precision with user experience considerations. By adhering by addressing these issues systematically through abstraction layers, security protocols, user-centric design, failover mechanisms, and robust webhook management, I can ensure a successful and reliable payment gateway integration that meets both business and user needs. How do you handle payment gateways, errors, or failures to ensure a smooth user experience? Handling payment gateway errors or failures effectively is crucial to maintaining a smooth experience and ensuring that transactions are processed reliably. When a payment error occurs, it can stem from various causes such as network issues, incorrect user input, gateway downtime, or fraud detection mechanisms. My approach to manage these errors involves implementing robust error handling strategies both on the client and the server side, as well as focusing on clear communication with the user. On the client side, I start by incorporating real-time validation into the payment form to catch common errors such as invalid card numbers or expired expiration dates before the payment is submitted. This reduces the likelihood of errors that could lead to transaction failures. If an error does occur after submission, I ensure that the user receives a clear and specific error message that explains what went wrong and provides actionable steps to resolve the issue. For example, if a payment fails due to insufficient funds, the system will notify the user and suggest trying a different card or contacting their bank. On the server side, I implement retry logic for handling transient errors such as network timeouts or temporary gateway issues. This involves automatically retrying the transaction a set number of times with increasing delays between attempts, a strategy known as uh, exponential backoff. This approach helps to mitigate temporary issues without requiring user intervention, thereby improving the chances of successfully completing the transaction. Additionally, I configure appropriate timeout settings to ensure that transactions are not prematurely cancelled due to slow responses from the payment gateway. For more persistent errors such as gateway downtime or API failures, I set up a failover mechanism that allows the system to switch to an alternate payment gateway if the primary gateway is unavailable. This ensures that users can still complete their transactions even if one gateway is experiencing issues. In cases where the transaction cannot be processed, I make sure the system provides the user with clear options such as retrying the payment later, choosing a different payment method, or contacting customer support for assistance. Monitoring and alerting are also key components of my error handling strategy. I set up real-time monitoring to track the performance of payment gateway and detect any unusual spikes in the error rates. Alerting and alerts and configured alerts are configured to notify the development or operation team immediately when an issue arises, allowing for quick investigation and resolution. This proactive approach helps minimize the impact of errors on the user experience. In summary, handling payment gateways errors requires a comprehensive strategy that addresses both technical and user experience aspects. By implementing real-time validation, robust retry logic, failover mechanisms, and clear user communication, I ensure that payment errors are managed effectively, reducing their impact on the user and maintaining a smooth and reliable payment process. This approach not only improves transaction success rates, but also builds trust with users by providing a seamless and responsive payment experience. Can you explain how you manage payment gateway subscriptions and recurring billing? Managing payment gateway subscriptions and recurring billing is a complex process that requires careful planning and precise implementation to ensure a smooth, reliable, and secure experience for both users and the business. My approach begins with setting up subscription plans within the payment gateway which involves defining various options such as billing frequency which can be monthly or annually, pricing tiers, and any introductory offers or trial periods. This setup is crucial as it dictates how and when users are billed and it must be aligned with the business's pricing strategy and user expectations. 
Once the plans are defined, I integrate the subscription functionality into the application, ensuring that the users can easily select their desired plan and enter their payment information. The payment gateway then securely stores this information, typically using tokenization, which allows the system to change the user's payment method automatically at the start of each billing cycle without needing to re-enter their details. This process is particularly important for maintaining user con convenience and reducing the friction often associated with recurring payments. Handling the subscription lifecycle is another critical aspect. This includes managing upgrades, downgrades, cancellations, and pauses. For instance, if a user decides to upgrade their plan mid-cycle, I ensure that the system can handle prorated billing, charging the user only for the additional cost of the upgraded plan for the remainder of the billing period. Similarly, if a user wishes to cancel or pause their subscription, I provide a straightforward process that allows them to do so without hassle, while ensuring that the system accurately reflects their current status and remaining access they might have until the end of any billing period of the billing period. Dealing with failed payments is an inevitable part of managing subscriptions, and it requires a robust strategy to minimize disruption to user experience. I implement automated retry mechanisms that attempt to process the payment multiple times over a predefined period if the initial attempt fails, often due to issues like expired card or insufficient funds. Users are notified of the failure promptly with clear instructions on how to update their payment information or rectify the issue. The proactive, the proactive approach helps reduce churn and ensures that subscriptions are maintained with minimal interruption. Security and compliance are paramount while handling these recurring billing. I ensure that all the processes adhere to PCI DSS standards which involve securing payment data using encryption and regularly auditing the system for vulnerabilities. Additionally, in regions where regulations like strong, strong customer authentication, which is SCA, are required, I implement the necessary authentication steps to ensure compliance, particularly during the setup of recurring payments or when significant changes are made to the subscription. Throughout the entire process, I focus on optimizing the user experience by providing clear, concise communication, easy management of subscription settings, and seamless integration with the payment gateway. By continuously monitoring the system and gathering feedback, I am able to make ongoing improvements, ensuring that the subscription and recurring billing process remains efficient, user-friendly, and aligned with the business goals. This comprehensive approach to managing payment gateway subscriptions ensures a reliable service that meets the needs of both the users and the business, fostering customer satisfaction and loyalty. What is your approach to implementing 3D secure authentication in payment gateways? Implementing 3D secure, also called as 3DS, authentication in payment gateways is a critical step in enhancing transaction security and complying with regulatory requirements such as the strong customer authentication, which is SCA mandate, used under the Payment Services Directive 2, which is PSD 2, in the European Union. 3D Secure Protocol adds an additional layer of verification during online transactions requiring cardholders to authenticate themselves with their issuing bank, typically through methods like one-time password, which is also called as OTP, sent to their mobile device, biometric verification, or a secure password. This process helps reduce fraud and shift the liability of for chargebacks from the merchant to the card issuer when authentication is successful. The implementation of 3D Secure begins with enabling the feature within the payment gateway. Most modern gateways like Stripe or Braintree support 3D Secure, particularly the more user-friendly 3D Secure 2.0, which is 3DS2. Unlike, the, unlike its predecessor, 3DS2 is designed to provide a smoother user experience, especially on mobile devices, and supports biometric authentication and risk-based analysis. When Low-risk 
transactions may not require explicit user action. I configure the gateway to automatically trigger 3D secure authentication based on risk assessments or when required by regulation, ensuring that the system is set up to comply with legal requirements while minimizing unnecessary friction for the user. During the payment process, when 3D Secure is invoked, the gateway handles the redirection to the card issuer's authentication page. I ensure that this redirection is seamless, integrating it into the user flow without unnecessary disruptions. For instance, instead of redirecting users to a new page, I might use a model window or an iframe to present the authentication challenge, keeping the user on the same page and reducing the likelihood of abandonment. Once the user completes the authentication, the gateway processes the response, whether it's a success, failure, or a request for further action, and I implement the appropriate logic to handle each outcome. If authentication is successful, the transaction proceeds as normal. If it fails, the user is given clear instructions on how to resolve the issue, such as trying a different payment method or contacting their bank. Another important consideration is handling cases where the issuing bank does not support 3DS2, in which case the system needs to gracefully fall back to 3D Secure 1.0. This fallback is typically managed by the payment gateway, but I ensure that our system is prepared to handle it without disrupting the user experience. Additionally, I pay close attention to the security and data handling aspects of 3D Secure. All communication during the 3DS2 process is encrypted and I ensure that sensitive data is never exposed during authentication. Compliance with PCI DSA standards is maintained through the implementation. Setting Testing is a crucial part of implementing 3D Secure. I conduct extensive testing in a sandbox environment to simulate various scenarios, including successful and failed authentications, timeouts, and network errors. This testing ensures that the system behaves as expected in all possible cases, providing a robust and reliable authentication process. I also test the user experience on different devices and browsers to ensure that 3D Secure process is smooth and intuitive, whether the user is on a desktop or a mobile device. In summary, implementing 3D Secure involves a careful balance between enhancing security and maintaining a positive user experience. By configuring the payment gateway correctly, integrating the authentication process seamlessly into the user flow, ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements, and conducting through, through test, thorough testing, I can provide a secure and efficient payment process that protects both the user and the business from fraud while keeping the payment experience as frictionless as possible. How do you ensure that the payment process is seamless and user-friendly across different devices. Ensuring that the payment process is seamless and user-friendly across different devices is essential for providing a positive user experience and maximizing conversion rates. With users accessing online platforms from a wide variety, wide range of devices such as smartphones, tablets, and desktops, it's crucial to design a payment system that adapts to varying screen sizes, input methods, and performance capabilities. My approach begins with implementing a responsive design that ensures that the payment interface adjusts smoothly to different screen resolutions and orientations. This involves using flexible grid layouts, scalable vector graphics, and media queries to create a fluid experience that looks and functions well on any device, whether a user is on a small mobile screen or a large desktop monitor. On mobile devices where touch input is the primary method of interaction, I prioritize touch-friendly design elements. This includes larger buttons, easily tappable form fields, and adequate spacing between the interactive elements to prevent accidental taps. Additionally, I ensure that all text including instructions and error messages is legible by using scalable font sizes that adjust according to the screen size. This attention to detail ensures that users can easily complete the payment process 
without frustration regardless of the device they are using. To streamline the payment process, I minimize the amount of information users need to enter manually. This is achieved by integrating features like autofill for payment and address details and by supporting digital wallets such as Apple Pay and Google Pay, which allows users to complete transactions with a single tap. For users who prefer or need to enter their payment information manually, I implement real-time validation to catch errors early, reducing the likelihood of failed transactions and improving the overall user experience. Another key aspect of ensuring a seamless payment process across devices is optimizing the system's performance. This includes minimizing load times by reducing the size of assets like images and scripts, using asynchronous loading for non-essential elements, and leveraging browsing browser caching. For mobile users who might be on slower networks, I focus on reducing latency by serving static assets through content delivery networks, which are CDNs, and optimizing API calls to ensure quick and reliable responses. These optimizations are crucial for maintaining a fast and responsive payment experience, which is particularly important on mobile devices where users may be more sensitive to delays. Security is also a crucial consideration in creating a user-friendly payment process. I ensure that all payment data is transmitted over secure HTTPS connections using SSL TLS encryption to protect sensitive information from interception. To build trust with users, I include visible security signals such as SSL certificates and recognized payment method logos which reassure users that their payment information is secure. Additionally, I integrate 3D secure authentication for regions where it is required or beneficial, ensuring that the added security step is as seamless as possible by using inline frames or models or models that keep the user within the flow of the payment process. Testing plays a vital role in ensuring that payment process is truly seamless across different devices. I conduct extensive cross-browser testing and device testing to identify and resolve any compatibility issues. This includes testing on various operating systems, browsers, and device types to ensure that the payment interface is consistent and functional everywhere. I also perform load testing to ensure that the system can handle high volumes of transactions without degradation in performance, which is especially important during peak traffic periods. Finally, I focus on handling errors gracefully to maintain a smooth user experience even when issues arise. If a payment error occurs, Users receive clear, specific error messages that guide them on how to resolve the issue, whether it's re-entering their payment details or trying an alternate payment method. The system also retains user input and card details if they need to retry the payment, ensuring that they don't have to start the process over from scratch. In conclusion, Ensuring a seamless and user-friendly payment process across different devices involves a comprehensive approach that combines responsive design, a performance optimization, security, and thorough testing. By focusing on these areas, I can create a payment experience that is intuitive, fast, and secure, meeting the needs of users on any device and ultimately driving higher conversion rates and customer satisfaction. Can you describe a time when you had to debug an issue with a payment gateway integration? How did you resolve it? There was a time when I had a debug, I had to debug a particularly challenging issue with a payment gateway integrating on an e-commerce platform that I was managing. The platform uh, re relied heavily on Stripe for processing payments and suddenly we started receiving reports from customers about intermittent payment failures. The issue was puzzling because it wasn't affecting all users uniformly. So some transactions were going through successfully while others were failing, particularly during the peak usage time. This inconsistency made, a, made the problem difficult to diagnose, but it was crucial to resolve it quickly as it was leading to noticeable drop in successful transactions and increasing customer frustration. The first step I took was 
to dig into the server logs to identify any patterns or commonalities among the failed transactions. By analyzing these logs, I discovered that the errors were related to failed API calls to Stripe, with the responses indicating network timeouts and occasional 500 internal server error messages. This pointed uh, to a potential issue with either the network connection between our server and Stripe's API or possibly with the way our server was handling these API requests. To gather more information, I also reviewed user uh, reports and noted that the problem was more prevalent during peak traffic periods, which suggested that the issue might be related to load handling. To reproduce the problem in a controlled environment, I simulated high traffic condition on our development servers, running multiple concurrent transactions to mimic peak usage. Through this testing, I was able to replicate the issue. When the server was under heavy load, the payment process would occasionally fail, particularly when processing results to Stripe's request to Stripe API. This confirmed my suspicion that the problem was related to how our system was managing API calls under load. With this understanding, I conducted a root cause analysis. I examined our server's configuration, focusing on the timeout setting for API requests and how our system handled retries when an API call failed. I found that our timeout setting were relatively short, which was causing the server to give up an API request prematurely, especially under heavy load. Additionally, our retrial logic was not robust enough to handle these temporary failures effectively, leading to drop transactions rather than retrying them with a delay. To address the issue, I implemented several key changes. First, I adjusted the timeout setting for our API request, allowing more time for Stripe's API to respond, particularly during peak traffic. Next, I enhanced our retrial logic by implementing an exponential backoff strategy. This approach meant that if the API request failed due to a timeout or other transient issue, the server would automatically retry the request with increasing delays between each attempt rather than failing immediately. This not only reduced the likelihood of drop transactions, but also ensured that we weren't overwhelming Stripe's API with repeated requests in quick succession. After implementing these changes, I conducted another round of load testing to ensure that the problem was resolved. The results were positive under simulated peak traffic condition, the payment process was significantly more stable, and the error rate dropped to near zero. To further validate the fix, I monitored live transactions after deploying the changes to the production environment. The monitoring confirmed that the number of payment failures had drastically decreased and customer complaints related to payment issues had virtually disappeared. This experience underscores the importance of thorough testing and careful con configuration when dealing with payment gateway integrations, especially under high load scenarios. By systematically diagnosing this problem, enhancing the system's resilience to temporary failures, and ensuring that the solution was robust through extensive testing, I was able to restore the reliability of the payment process. This not only resolved the immediate issue, but also improved the overall performance and stability of our platform, ultimately leading to better experience for our users and a more reliable transaction process for the business. How do you test the integration of payment gateway in a development environment? Now, testing the integration of a payment gateway in a development environment is a meticulous process that ensures the payment system functions correctly, securely, and efficiently before it is deployed to a live production environment. My approach begins with by setting a, up a sandbox environment provided by the payment gateway, such as Stripe, PayPal, or Braintree, whatever we're using. The sandbox environment mimics the live gateway but uses test data instead of real money, allowing me to conduct thorough testing without any financial risk. I configure the development environments with the appropriate sandbox API keys, ensuring all interactions with the gateway occur with this controlled test environment. The first stage of testing focuses on basic functionality of payment process. I begin by simulating different types of transactions, including successful payments, 
declined payments due to insufficient funds, incorrect card details, expired cards, and invalid CVV codes. This helps verify that the system correctly handles each scenario, providing the appropriate feedback to the user. Additionally, I test various payment methods supported by the gateway, such as credit and debit cards, digital wallets like Apple Pay, Google Pay, and alternative methods like bank transfers. Each method must be tested to ensure it integrates seamlessly with the application and that the user experience is consistent and error-free. Once the basic functionality is confirmed, I proceed to test edge cases and potential failure scenarios. This includes simulating high latency network conditions to assess how the payment process behaves under slow or unreliable con connections. I also introduce scenarios where the payment gateway might be temporarily unavailable or return unexpected errors such as 500 internal server error or rate limit errors. In these cases, I ensure that the system implements proper retry logic and provides clear error messages to the user, guiding them through the next steps, whether it be retrying the payment or selecting an alternative payment method. Additionally, I simulate concurrent transactions to test how the system handles multiple payments being processed simultaneously, ensuring that there are no race conditions or data integrity issues. Security is a paramount concern during the testing process. I verify that all the data transmitted between the client, server, and the payment gateway is encrypted using SSL TLS to protect sensitive payment information from being intercepted. I also ensure that the system compiles with PCI DSS, complies with PCI DSS standards, particularly regarding the handling and storage of sensitive data. This involves confirming that no sensitive payment information such as full credit card numbers or CVV codes is stored on the server and that any data stored in is properly tokenized and encrypted. User experience testing is another critical component. I test the payment interface across various devices and browsers to ensure a consistent and intuitive user experience. This includes testing on mobile devices, tablets, and desktops as well as across different operating systems and browsers like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, and Edge. The goal is to confirm that the payment process is responsive, easy to navigate, and free to compatibility issues regardless of user's device or browser. In addition to functional and security testing, I conduct integration testing to ensure that the payment process work seamlessly with other systems such as order management or CRM platforms. This involves end-to-end -end testing of the entire payment workflow from initiating a transaction to receiving a confirmation and updating the order status in the system. If the payment gateway uses webhooks to notify the application of payment events, I thoroughly test the webhook handling to ensure that the system correctly processes these notifications and updates the application records accordingly. Performance testing is also crucial, particularly for applications that handle a high volume of transactions. I perform load testing to simulate peak traffic conditions, ensuring that the system can handle large number of concurrent transactions without performance degradation. I measure the response times of the API calls to the payment gateway and adjust timeout settings as necessary to ensure that transactions are processed efficiently even under heavy load. Regression testing is conducted to ensure that any updates or changes to the payment gateway or the application do not break existing functionality. This involves rerunning all previous tests after changes are made to confirm that the system continues to operate correctly. Automated testing tools such as Selenium or Postman are often used to streamline this process, allowing for continuous testing as part of the CI-CD pipeline. After completing the testing process, I carefully review the results, document the test cases and outcomes, and address any issues that were identified. Only after all these tests have passed, 
successfully do i consider the payment gateway integration ready for production deployment this thorough and methodological approach ensures that the payment system is robust secure and capable of providing a smooth user experience from the moment it goes live by addressing potential issues early and testing under a variety of conditions i minimize the risk of problems occurring in the live environment leading to a more reliable and user friendly payment process so these were my 10 questions that i recently asked during an interview so if you have any more questions or any any other interviews that you want me to look at or answer your questions let me know in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as possible thank you